Hi, I'm Chris Getz, Major League Second Baseman, and today's pro tip is fielding ground balls with a purpose. Now at second base, or whatever position you're in, especially in the infield, you got to have your routines. And uh, generally this is during batting practice, or even if you're uh, getting some early work with a coach, or a buddy, or whoever, I personally love to have my routine. And my routine typically is I like having balls hit right at me, I like hitting a handful of balls to my right, handful of balls to my left, and then finish right at me. Generally I'll do about 10 right at me, 10 to my right, 10 to my left, and then finish with about three or four right at me. Now, now the standard way of fielding a ground ball, especially balls right at you, are you want to get in a position to you're about a little bit more in shoulder width. Your, uh, your left foot is a little bit in front of your right foot. The kind of your toe is at the heel of your left foot. Then you want to get down in kind of a bent athletic position and hands out in front. You want your second hand there too. You want it out in front so you can see the ball. You want your head down. And so when you feel the ball, you kind of funnel it in, and then you take a step towards first base, set up, create momentum going towards first base to, uh, to put a good throw. So we're going to do a few balls right at me. And this is what I like to do before every game, is get a feel for the balls just being right at me so I can get everything under control, get my rhythm, get my footwork going, so uh, just to get me comfortable for the game. Now balls to my right, generally you got balls to your right that you can come around like this and field it this way and then set up and throw and then you got balls where you're going to have to do a backhand. Generally speaking as a second baseman, some guys are different than I'm most, but I'm most comfortable coming around kind of creating a banana and if I can get around it, I'd rather get around it than do the backhand. But I'll let the ball dictate on what I'm going to do there. So if you want to do a few balls over there, right here I'll do the banana, come through it, set my feet, and throw to first. Now the key getting a ground ball, especially to my right, is, is angles. And you want to field the ball, you want to have a tendency of going this way and going that way rather than going back because you're, it's tough to create momentum going to first base. Now I'll show a few backhands. Once again, generally speaking, I would like to feel the backhand on an angle going that way rather than that way. But the speed of the ball is also gonna dictate a lot of that. You wanna create as, mo must, uh, as much momentum going to first base as you can. Do one more of those. Plant, throw. So once I do about 10 of those and I go 10 to my left, The key to these drills is just getting your rhythm so you're most comfortable for, the, for when the game starts. And then I like to finish with a few just right at me. And that'll pretty much finish up my routine each day because I know when I'm comfortable hitting ball when the balls are right at me, 
to my left, or to my right and then my left, and then right at me. I know that pretty much all the bases are covered and I'm comfortable going into the game and I feel like wherever the ball is hit, I'm gonna make the play. So I think, like I said, having your routine each day is the most important because it just creates confidence. You believe in your work and then it carries over to the game. So I think that's, uh, as an infielder, that's today's pro tip of the day.